The Northern Territory's six most senior hospital doctors have criticised the Ghana government's response to the threat of COVID-19 as too little, too late. They've warned in a letter that it needs to immediately start better preparing intensive care units and hospital wards for an influx of very sick patients. The Territory's most senior hospital doctors have given the government a stark warning. If you delay, more people will die. Clinicians, I suppose, are very keen to get ahead of the wave um, so we don't have the catastrophic issues that are currently facing uh, Spain and Italy. They said critical care teams across the globe are reeling from the overwhelming number of patients now requiring ICU and ventilation. There's a strong sense of regret that these health systems, Italy, Washington State, Holland, did not make faster and better decisions. The best option to preserve the most vulnerable in our population and to maintain a functional health workforce is to reduce the risk now. They've called for tough measures, including suspend all community outreach, outpatients, dental and elective surgery, except urgent life limb preserving. Prepare and train for a 30-bed intensive care unit. Prepare ED and prepare COVID wards in hospitals. Our clinicians are very well you know, experienced. They've got a right to tell the government what they believe. The Deputy Chief Medical Officer Di Stevens replied to the doctors by email that while she understood their concern, a response is not required immediately because the Territory has only had one case and further distancing measures are being considered. Later, the response had softened. Most of the things that they have very um, quite rightly suggested are already in train and already being done. The government isn't taking the doctor's advice on cancelling elective surgery. It wants to get as many operations done as possible now. It thinks about 50 ventilators for people with breathing difficulties territory-wide will be enough. And we have a whole lot of ventilators on order. So how many can we ventilate? As many as we need to. The government isn't planning a specific health spending package. I can give you a guarantee. Health will get what they need to be able to work in these circumstances. The government's confident, although it's struggling to staff existing hospitals, it can also treat people at Howard Springs Workers' Village if needed over the next six months. Jane Barton, ABC News.